Robbo, how pleasing the fight back after going down 10-0 to score the next four tries after that? Yeah, I thought, um, you know, they've got a um, really good system of attack and they executed two really good plays to go down 10-0. was disappointing, but, um, you know, credit to, credit to them. And then um, we sort of held our cool for a little bit there and then Brandon and Jared sort of changed momentum there in the... And then I felt like we were sort of dominated from there on in um, for the, that period of game. There was obviously, we handed over the ball cheaply a little bit in the second half, but we defended that much better. Um, yeah. Just how impressive was, you mentioned Brandon, but Jared as well, like just for his age and how long he's been doing this to come on and change that game like that. Yeah, I thought, you know, there was opportunities there around their ruck and Brandon found Jared and then Brandon played off the back of Jazz as well and you know there was obviously guys moving in and around him but yeah just the ability to fall through the line like he did was um, so simple but so effective for us. The decision to keep those two on the bench to start mate, can you talk us through that because it's a big call to make on two big players? Uh, I think you know Fletcher Baker has been going really really well you know someone that no one really talks about, but I feel like I've been really happy with him holding up the middle and Lindsay's obviously been really strong. Jazz first game back after a long layoff since the five minutes he did at the World Cup. And then he uh, and then Brandon just crossed the line and Terps has been doing a really good job setting it up. So I felt, you know, I didn't think it was gonna be one in the first twenty minutes. I wouldn't like to be ten nil down, but um, you know, confidence in those guys starting, but also knew the impact was coming. So can you feel the difference when someone like Jared comes on the field? Because yeah. he does have that sort of presence. Yeah, definitely. I think they came on similar time. You could feel Brendan came on. He said to us straight away, let's start going through the middle. And then you felt that momentum. Jared falling through the line, Brendan off the back of it. Changed, changed the way we played that period. Trent, there's a bit to unpack, obviously, in the last 15 minutes. Can we start with Joey's tackle on Isaiah Tass? It'll go down in folk folklore. Just talk us through it, how special that play was. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the good one, the, one, where he right, stripped yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that, I mean, yeah. I mean, I think he was trying to do what he did on the second one on the first one. So he obviously wanted to dislodge the ball. And um, that was yeah, a huge play. I think it was 14-12 at the time. Uh, looked like a certain try. And then, you know, uh, he came up with a huge play. You know, and then... Sammy being right on the spot there and calm to sort of pick it up and then play on, because it would have been play on, I would say. I don't think it would have been a knock on from that play and then to be able to pick it up and play on, um, that was a big play. Because I think you scored then the next set or two minutes later yep. and it was Jackson Bell, I think he scored two tonight against his old team. Very strong performance. How's he developed over the first few weeks? Yeah, I think, I mean, he has developed. So I think the, um, I think he had a, a drop bomb and then AJ scored on the outside of him within the first 10 or 15 minutes, you know, and then he just dominated the carries, the catches, the tries after that. I felt like he had such a big game, had so many plays to make. They decided to kick down to him and test him, and he said, I'm ready for it. You know, come on, keep coming, and I'll, I'll uh, you know, I'm confident in my play, and I'll keep coming back at you. And I, I felt that that was such a strong game from Jackson. And then let's get to that last tackle. How, how is Joey and what did you make of that whole incident? Uh, yeah, I think he was trying to make the tackle that he made on Tass the, the play before. He was trying to knock it out and he, uh, he got it wrong. You know? So I think that's enough. And then you know, running in and, um, you know, and then everything that, that went on after that is, you know, is what it is. How is he in terms of injury? Yeah, he's just got a split. I'd say, he'd, you know, he's cut open there, so I'd say he needs some stitches, I'd say there. But no, not a refracture or...? I'm hoping not. You know, it blew up, but I'm hoping it's from the cut. Luke, did it feel like here we go again in that moment, just after last year? Uh, no, nah, you kind of expect it. There's always there's a lot of emotion um, when we play, and it, it, that happens all the time. So, um, yeah, I don't think... I didn't see it, but I don't think anyone really stepped over the line too much. It's, it's always going to be a few little incidents. Trent, did you have any issue with the way it was cut open? I think Michael Cheekham was was put in the bin for a punch. Like, did, did you have an issue with that? Because obviously, it seemed like it no, no. Let's lot. stay in the game. You know, we've had enough of all the. You know, you guys will want to open that up and make a big thing of that. You know, it's been so negative this week from from you guys. You know, from our side, it's been so positive 
from the other side. Everyone thought they were going to win tonight. It's been so negative from guys having to go at Rads and Jazz and you know having to go at Sawali and Teddy and all that. It's been negative all week. And then we come out and play a game. So let's focus on the footy. You know, don't blow something small up to be from both sides. You know, there was a push and a shove and something that shouldn't happen and someone reacted poorly. So what? You know, stay on task, you know, talk about the game. Robert, what did you think of Cody Walker in the line with the Joey Marno incident? Like, we've seen them pulled up probably before with guys stopping in the line, but no, you were happy not. with the way it went tonight? But they, they knew that he wasn't trying to work to get around him and then he tried to play for it, you know, and that, that's been... The refs have made that really clear that they're not going to have guys playing for penalties there. You know, he wasn't going to move and then he saw him cut back in and then tried to and that 100% the right call. Last week, I know you spoke about uh, Joey Suleli's development out wide. Uh, we saw him, there was a try down his edge early, but he kept, he landed some great defensive reads and great shots. How have you seen that side of off, without the ball, develop for Joey? Yeah, he's such a strong runner. Um, um, but I see lots of development left in Joey. I feel like, you know, he's three games into playing NRL centre, so um, I feel like he's had a, a good start, but I know there's a lot more left in Joey. Does the week off come at a good time? <laughs> is it, did you run out of questions there? <laughs> is it, is it <laughs> I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> <laughs> you going to put your feet up for the week? No, uh, that's... Um, yeah, it's a funny one having these buys um, in there, you know, obviously three games in and I said I wanted a good start, we've been okay, you know, I feel like we've got better every game, um, but yeah, it, it's come at this time, so we'll, we'll, we'll go and probably, you know, we've had a lot of cramping, we've had a lot of hot games, so I feel like we need a little bit of work into them, we probably need to get a bit more, some guys have pre-season off most of the time, like Kez, so these guys need to run a little bit more. I feel like this week, get a bit of fitness for the... I think we've got eight games in a row after that. Kez, thoughts on that, mate? Just trying to stay positive here. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking about fitness now. 36 <laughs> degrees on Sunday, we haven't been early. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, just a, a little bit of work, you know. A little bit of work, a little bit of rest. Thanks. Thanks.